Good evening, everybody. This is the Crafty Lady, and I'm back with a series of uh, tutorials on making TP books or toilet paper tube books. I did a small video um, tutorial on how to prepare uh, the tubes themselves to make the books. Uh, I know there are several uh, tutorials on YouTube and making the books. I've got a couple different ideas in the way that I do them. So uh, I only have a short time because I'm new at this. So I'm going to do several from start to finish. We're going to start out by, and this was my previous tutorial, we're going to start out by preparing the tubes for uh, for making the uh, mini album. But before I do start that, I want to show you a few that I have here. Uh, I have some that are finished here. Here's a small one that I have. Uh, this is bound with uh, the Bind It All system. And it's just a small book, and I've taken the tubes, and I have collapsed them to make them nice and sharp and crisp on the side so you can work with them. This particular book, I uh, distressed the edges with black uh, ink, and then covered just the inside area with about a, oh, a little less than a quarter of, a, uh, of an inch around uh, the uh, tube itself. And then I've made a, a tag on the back. Uh, it's just a small tag and on one side it's uh, to to put uh, photos on and on the back side I'll do a stamp on the back uh, with lines and a little decoration for your journaling and then you can add ribbon or twine or whatever to your tag and basically that is the book I have another book here that's just a little bit bigger because I did this a little bit different. I used the same binding system as I did on the previous book, but on this book, I added an inch uh, to the to the page uh, so I could bind it and utilize the whole uh, length of my uh, page. There again, it's virtually the same premise. I have uh, taken these tags. I have stamped on the back of the tag. Uh, lines uh, to do your journaling and of course on the front of the tag you can uh, uh, put photos, I put twine and uh, a little uh, metal piece on the tag to pull it in and out with. And there again I used to bind it all. This particular one is a little bit different. This is a Christmas book that I did. It's uh, uh, the same premise with the tag with the journaling on the back. I used a ribbon on the tag. Uh, I did distress the edges uh, and just put the paper on the inside about a quarter of an inch around. Now this I bound with Laura Dennison's Stack the Deck uh, binding system and I will show that during the tutorials how to do that. Uh, this has a front and back chipboard with a chipboard spine. And then I took some chipboard and, and put a little uh, uh, embellishment on the front. I don't do a lot of embellishments on my uh, on my little mini books. I know a lot of people do, and they're very nice. Uh, however, you know I'm going to leave that up to whomever uh, gets it and uses it. This is a ponytail holder that uh, uh, that I've used to secure this particular book. It there again is the same premise as the other books, uh, and it has the Laura Dennison stack the deck binding system as well. I did uh, spray this with uh, a little spray uh, that's called Goosebumps and it gives a really neat texture to it. And I also embellished it with some paper flowers. This particular book here is probably my very favorite. You can get two toilet paper tube sizes out of one uh, paper towel tube. When I first started doing this, my husband and I and whoever I could find was saving me these tubes. Now I have tubs of them. However, I would also use the paper towel tubes. And as I say, you can cut that down, measure whatever these measure. Uh, they measure basically about four and a half to five inches. It depends on what uh, brand of paper that you use. So you can get two out of a paper towel tube. Well, you have 
about three inches or so left over. Well, being the uh, frugal person that I am, and then my son-in-law says I am the most, I'm the neatest hoarder he knows, and I that could be the case. Uh, I couldn't throw them away, and I had them stacked up on my work table. And one day I looked at them, and I thought, you know, you know, this could be a really, really cute micro mini. Same premise, same tag with the journaling on the back. Use the bind at all. Uh, I I did use the extra two inches to have an inch, uh, so you could utilize the whole space. These would be really, really cute little small. Oh, I don't know. Uh, three by two and a half photos would fit on here uh, to carry in your purse, that type of thing. So uh, I did show this as well on my tutorial. Um, these have been laying around, they're kind of stuck. But uh, to utilize the full uh, length of your tube, you need to add the extension, and I will show how to do that, as I say, in, in, the, uh, in the tutorials. Um, Okay, now as I say, we're going to start out with preparing our tubes uh, to um, to use. To prepare our tubes to use, I took my big shot. my big kicks, I'm sorry, not my big shot, my big kicks. And then you take the tube and you flatten it out with your hand, put it, sandwich it in between both plastic uh, plates on top of A and B, and then you run it through the machine. And run it back. I run it through a couple times um, because they are quite stiff. They're chipboard. Uh, and run it back through again. And what you've done, you have you have flattened out your tube. And as I say, I did show this uh, on a tutorial. You flatten out your tube. It has a nice crisp, a nice crisp side, nice crisp sides. Uh, now I take several of these. I, I put six in each book, and I'll do six. Now you've got to make sure, as I say, that they're all the same size because your your tubes will vary in size and what you can do you certainly can if you have longer ones you can cut them down to match um, and so when you get six and I'll show you here I didn't bring these over I apologize now here are the uh, paper towel tubes uh, that I was mentioning uh, I've done the same thing I've run these through uh, the uh, Big Kicks machine, flatten them out. Now I secure them with these um, uh, office clips and let them set. This is ready. This is ready to use. The one that we just did is ready to use. However, if you clip them like I have these with these uh, clips and let them set, uh, they will get smaller. They'll get tighter, like this one. See how nice and tight this one is, opposed to the new one. Now, as I say, the new one's ready to go, and it's okay. It will tighten up as time goes on. But if you let, the, if you clamp these together, do your six at a time, clamp them together with the office clips, then they do uh, become uh, flatter uh, as you go along. A little easier to work with. There again, here are the paper towel tubes. You can cut them down. You get two, and then you have the little small one to do the little small book. Once you have, once you have uh, flattened out all your tubes, now this particular tube is a little wider than what uh, the other one was. Once you flatten out all your tubes, you can do one of two things. You can take a distressed ink and ink your edges. You can take a uh, stain, like the Distress Stains, or you can take paint and paint your edges, however you want to do it. Or you can completely cover your pages 
with paper. This particular book, I covered my pages with paper. And I'll give you the dimensions on covering the page. And what you virtually do, you measure the width of your page and you double that. And you add a half inch to lap over to secure. Now I've covered all these pages on this particular book opposed to leaving the edges uh, where I've stained the edges or painted the edges like on this book and just added the paper on top of the pages, however you want to do it. As we go on, there'll be different things. This particular book is a pretty book as well. I haven't embellished the outside of this one. I'll just finish this one. And this has a, a, the tags. Uh, I haven't stamped it. Uh, and I did um, use ribbon on the ends of this and made a pretty book. Uh, as we go on, there's, as I say, some different ways to do it. That's why I'm doing the tutorials. Uh, they're a little bit different. As I say, there's many on the uh, Internet. And they're good tutorials. So I just thought you might enjoy another one. Uh, this is part one of the TP books. Uh, I am Gwen, the uh, crafty lady. I have a new uh, blog, uh, spot, a new blog page uh, on WordPress. It's craftyladydesigns.com. Uh, please visit the site, leave a comment, and please uh, acknowledge the fact that you've seen this. If you have any questions, please email me at gcaststeel at comcast.net. The email address is also on my, uh, on my blog. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, I will be in touch with the second episode.